Hey, Steve Mignotti here at Blueprint Engines with Josh Saldivar, who is the Director of Manufacturing. And we're in front of a place that actually installs cylinder heads on ready-to-go crate engines. Now, if you've ever installed a cylinder head on an engine, you don't have to do the torquing process, you have to do it with a specific pattern. Well, here at Blueprint, you guys do 12,000 plus engines per year. That's 24,000 cylinder heads that have to be torqued in place. You have a machine that does it? Tell me about it, Josh. So our manufacturing engineering team worked uh, to come up with a way to try and improve the automation. Again, you've seen throughout the facility, if it's something that we have a lot of control over, CNC, we can work with the vendor on, pist on pistons and, and rings. Now you got cylinder heads in our own blocks. And so the more that we put control into the product from our own development, the more cool stuff we're able to do with it to improve our automation and to reduce the variability. The other thing that this does for us is it allows us to take the wear and tear off of operators as we process blocks through the facility. So we're going to have Zach here show us how it's done. When he brings it in, one of the things you're going to notice, Steve, is when he locks it into place, we've got some really simple visual cues okay. inside that plate. So when he comes in and installs it, you're going to see there's an orange for a Chevy derivative bell housing to go in there, and you've got blue for a Ford. So it's, those are the types of things that we try to do in manufacturing to help make it easier for people to do a good job, but to do it quickly and effectively. So Zach, you want to show us how it's done? So as this goes along, it does a couple of things. It's checking to make sure that the bolts are in place, that they're properly seated. You'll see just a little bit of a turn on it to make sure that we don't cross thread it mm -hmm. from the beginning. And then it's following a predetermined pattern of torque, just like you're used to getting from mm -hmm. the OEMs when they installed the, the heads. center outward. Exactly, so as we do that, it allows us to make it repeatable and consistent. So when we're torquing up that head, we're conditioning the head gasket in the way that it was designed to be conditioned. But instead of having it be done by an operator and have all that wear and tear at all those turns with the big torque wrench, it's actually being done with the DC torque tool, which gives us more control and it allows us to, to program improvements into the program. Maybe we wanna to try to go a little bit faster and maintain our quality. It gives us a lot more control over the process. How many of these automated workstations do you have on site? So right now we've got two of these that are virtually identical. We've got one on our other production line. And as we have success with them, you're going to continue to see them used around the facility. Okay, I see these orange stands with mirrors. I'm going to bet that I don't want to put my hand in there. I'll shut yeah, it right off, right? Exactly. If you put your hand in there, okay, right. you will notice that the robot will stop okay. exactly where it is. So that's that light curtain technology that protects the operators. Here, so here. as we go along, if anybody happens to, to make a move into the curtain out of habit or they have to grab something, it'll actually shut down. And what that does is it protects the operator and it helps make sure that if it stops exactly where it is, if an operator has to come and restart the engine, it'll leave exactly where it started from. Yeah, good stuff. This is the equivalent of when the phone rings in your machine shop, you go get the phone, you come back, did I torque that or not? This won't forget. Exactly. <laughs> Well, this is a great example of just one of many areas where Blueprint Engines uses automation to speed up the assembly process without sacrificing quality. To see more, go to BlueprintEngines.com and stick around for more Crate Engine Tech with me, Steve Mignanti.